Hello everyone! Five years ago I wrote a blog post about OpenSCAP, but it was only about the SCAP Workbench GUI application and how to use it to detect security misconfigurations. This time I will install the OpenSCAP command line tool on Ubuntu and use it to check for vulnerabilities on my local host. So installation. First of all we need to install OpenSCAP. I have Ubuntu 2004.5 LTS on my host. According to the official OpenSCAP website, OSCAP tool can be installed on Ubuntu with the command apt get install lib OpenSCAP 8. We can then check that the installation was successful with the command OSCAP minus capital V. OpenSCAP command line tool OSCAP 1.2.16 oval content. Everything looks good and now we need to get the contact describing the vulnerability checks. It is great that Canonical has invested in creating free oval content feeds that can be downloaded from https ubuntu.com slash security slash oval. So we download the content with we get, unzip the data using b unzip2 tool. Vulnerability report. We can use the OSCAP tool to create an HTML vulnerability report. The tool shows the oval definition statuses while it is running. So OSCAP oval eval report report.html and uh, the definition file. In this example OSCAP has detected a vulnerability in the Firefox web browser. And after updating the Firefox package on the host this vulnerability disappears. If you want to automatically process scan results, you can export them in XML format. OSCAP oval eval results oval results.xml and the definition file. Separating inventory and vulnerability detection system characteristics. In most cases, using OpenSCAP looks like this. You install the OpenSCAP package on a target Linux host, copy the oval content to the host and detect vulnerabilities directly on the host. You can then collect these results from the host and put them into some kind of vulnerability storage and prioritization solution. Can we separate inventory collection from actual vulnerability detection? Yes, it's possible with the oval system characteristics. The idea is that we collect inventory host data in a special XML format and then pass it as a parameter to the OSCAP tool. How does OSCAP knows which objects to collect? It understands this from the same oval definition file. So we collect system characteristics with OSCAP oval collect syschar syschar.xml and the definition file. And then analyze and generate a report from it. OSCAP oval analyze results oval results.xml and the definition file. OSCAP oval generate report oval results.xml to the HTML file. Therefore, it is theoretically possible to learn how to generate syschar.xml files without using the OSCAP utility and implement fully agentless remote scan. But this is one for the future. System characteristics errors. Unfortunately, there were bugs during testing of OSCAP 1.2.16. The system characteristics syschar.xml has been created successfully, but attempts to analyze it with OSCAP led to errors. OSCAP error occurred when comparing a variable with collected item entity. At the same time, oval results.xml was created and it was possible to generate an HTML report from it, but some of the checks are displayed in the error state. I suspect that the problem is in the current version of OSCAP in the Ubuntu repository 1.2.16 and in the current actual version 1.3.6 it may work, but this needs to be checked. To do this OpenSCAP should be installed from SOS. And this is it for today, please subscribe and leave your comments, bye.